Here we will study one traveling wave when strikes a different medium. Interface of the different medium, then there are two possible actions. Rather, there are three actions. Number one, some of the energy is uh, absorbed. Number two, some of the energy move through the second medium, we call it transmission. And some of the energy, the waves are reflected back. So there are three actions. One is reflection, other is absorption, and third is transmission. This is what happens with any type of wave. R A T. That is the what happens with the hundred percent of energy here. So here we assume that absorption, just for the sake of study, if there is no absorption, then some part will be reflected and some part will be transmitted. Mainly we want to study the reflection part. But I have made the both so that you will have certain idea what's happening. Here we have two medium. One is rarer and one is denser and the wave is traveling from rarer to denser and this is the interface between the two. When this wave, this wave strikes it, what happens? Here is the tug of war between the two. This wave move, want to move away and this is a denser medium, it cannot move it cannot move the particles of this one to the extent it was moving here because this was a rare and the light particles. These are heavy particles. What happens when you strike a heavy particle in the carom board? You hit the border. The border is very heavy. Your striker is light. When it hits, does the border move? No. What happens? the striker is reflected back. The same thing happens here when this particle strikes it in this direction. It cannot move this particle but reaction of this particle bounces it back and it goes here. This goes here. This goes here. And what we find that they are traveling back, reflected back in this path. And a new wave keeps on coming. When this particle hits, there is a small reflection. When this particle hits with a lot of force, there is an equal opposite force and it is reflected this much. So in this way, they keep on going, hitting and returning back. This is the reflected wave. What has happened in this reflected wave? In this reflected wave, the frequency is same. Yes, because this interval crest to crest naturally this will be crest to crest formation at the same interval so they are reflected with almost same amplitude almost not necessary that absolute same okay but if this was having a phase here this phase is reflected back how much it is reflected back see here, how much is the phase? Pi by 2. And here, how much is the phase? 3 pi by 2. How much is the change in the phase? That is 1 pi. This is trough of this wave and this is crest. The crest converts to trough. How much is the phase difference between crest and trough? 1 pi. So there is a change of 1 pi. At this location, this time, this wave has got a crest and at this location, this wave has a crest. This wave has a trough. This wave has a crest. So, in both the waves, there is a phase difference of 1 pi everywhere. Here, this wave has got a trough and this wave has got a crest. So, there is a phase difference of 1 pi. So, phase changes 1 pi when it is it was moving from rarer to denser and it is reflected back. Now, if transmission is allowed, 
then a small part of the energy is transmitted here. When it is transmitted here, what happens? Its amplitude decreases because if it was moving this with 5 millimeter, the lighter part, it cannot move the heavier part by 5 millimeter. Maybe it is able to move by 1 millimeter. So the amplitude decreases. Similarly, the speed decreases. That means the wavelength also decreased. So this wavelength which was here has decreased to this much. So wavelength decreased, amplitude decreased and because wavelength has decreased, velocity also decreased. What remains same is frequency. Please note, any times whenever we have reflection, refraction, transmission, anything, what remains constant is frequency. The number of vibrations in one second remain constant. So, because frequency is decided by the source, the same source is for all these waves, so frequency remain the same. So, this is the reflected wave with a phase change of pi. Now, if we have the equation part of it, what is the equation of the progressing wave? The wave which is progressing in one direction is progressing wave and we have the equation. This equation was A sin omega t plus kx, okay, sin kx plus omega t. This is the equation of this wave. Now when it is, sorry, this is minus omega t. When it is reflected, y reflected is equal to a sin kx plus omega t. Y plus omega t because its direction has reversed. It is coming in this direction and then there is a phase difference of 1 pi. Here there was no phase I have not written. That means it was 0 and there was a phase change of pi. So this is equation of reflected wave. This I can write as sine any angle plus pi is equal to, we can write it as minus. So this is minus A sine kx plus omega t. This is equation of the reflected wave, this. Okay, this happens when it is rarer to denser or when it is from open medium to a closed medium, open to closed medium. There are other names which we will use in case of pipe which we are going to study. So rarer to denser or open to closed medium, this is the way of reflection and these are the equations. What happens? when a wave is moving from denser to rarer medium. This is the wave in denser medium. Now here, rarer medium particles are so lightweight that they cannot oppose it and reflect it back. Just like in carom board, you are hitting with a striker, a goat. What happens when you hit it? Is your striker comes back? No. This will move and this will also move slightly deflected, but it will not reflect back. The same thing happens here. When it goes here, it reflects, but it is not thrown back here. No. So when it is goes here, it reflects back here. So what we find that the face do not change and it reflects in the same manner but with less amplitude. Why less amplitude? Because when it hits here, this is a lighter medium and most of its energy is used to move this one. And this accept movement, this accept absorption of energy and moves. So this wave keeps continuation in this medium and the amplitude increase. Why? This energy was to move it here, only 5 millimeter. It is a very light particle. It can move it up to 8 millimeter. So amplitude increase. The same way, the wavelength also increase. 
so amplitude and wavelength both are increasing so speed also increase what remains same frequency so frequency is not affected by change of medium both are by the same source frequency remain the same okay phase no change of phase no change of phase reflected wave there is a change of phase of 1 pi in this reflected wave phase change no there is no phase of change zero now what is the equation of progressive wave here that is y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t then reflected wave reflected wave is only direction is reserved so this is a sin kx plus omega t this this plus shows that the direction has been reversed but there is no minus here so this is reflected wave in case of denser to rarer this is reflected wave in case of rarer to denser this is the difference here minus and plus so there can be reflections and after reflection in one medium we will find the two waves this was the main purpose of this study that in one medium how can we create two waves of the same frequency answer by reflection this reflection happens in both the cases rarer to denser that is open to close medium and denser to rarer that is close to open medium this can all what is close medium inside a flute the airs are closed that behaves like denser outside the flute it is open medium that behaves like a rarer medium and inside the flute there are reflections like this just from the boundary that will happen and that we will see in the next lecture so once we have understood how there can be two waves in one medium having the same frequency and what is the principle of superposition now we are ready to study what is meant by stationary waves so our next topic will be formation of stationary wave in a medium thank you